In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the layout management tools in Acquia's Lightning for Drupal 8. As you know by now, this is a standard Acquia Dev Desktop installation with the Lightning distribution right out of the box. So let's head over to Structure, Content Types, and you'll notice a new content type called Landing Page, which has been panelized or made available for display settings in Drupal 8 using Lightning. I'll click on Full Content. This is pretty typical for Drupal, and if you use Drupal 8, it's already familiar to you. But now with Lightning, we have the ability to panelize or create layouts for a view mode. You'll need to set this up if you create a new view mode. It's as simple as putting a check mark in this box. You'll then decide whether you want to allow each content item to have its own display customized and allow users to select which display to use. What this means is that an editor can come along, choose the layout, and if they want, customize it and update it for that particular node. Once they do this though, that layout is now locked. So you'll see out of the box, we have single column, two column, and three column layouts. One column, two column, two column with bricks, three column, 25, 50, 25, three column 33, 34, 33. If I want to add a new layout for the full content, it's as simple as creating a layout. And let's give it a name. I'm going to call this recent content layout. We're going to put the recent content in the right sidebar. Click next. I'm going to go through this wizard. All kinds of context that you can select here. I'll quickly show you all of them that are available literally everything Drupal knows, every token that's available, you can add as a context for a particular layout. We'll leave it as it is, click Next, and now we get to choose which layout we want to use. I'm going to use two column brick, click Next, and we need a page title, and eventually this will have all of the tokens that are available here. Right now, at this point with Lightning, you just need to type it in. But you can now see that you have a top, first above, second above, middle, first below, second below, and bottom. You don't need to use these, of course. We're going to add a new block. This is every block that Drupal has available to you. Right now, it's the standard fare. So I'm going to scroll down here to Views. I'm going to select the Recent Content View. And we'll just leave the display the title on, leave it at 10, and we could, of course, override the title. The only other thing we need to do is put it where we want it to go. We'll put it in the second above. Click Add Block. That's going to now demonstrate that in the second above, we have this block. And any block you have in your Drupal 8 site is, of course, available to you here, including any media, because they are now entities. That includes pictures, video, Twitter feeds, anything you want, you can now put into one of these layouts. And of course, they are click and draggable as well. So I'm going to click Finish, click Update and Save. And we should be good to go. I'm going to click on Content, Add Content, and Landing Page. You'll notice immediately that the recent content layout is available to us. We'll give this a title of My First Landing Page. We'll click Save. You'll also notice it is in draft mode. And while it's in draft mode now, I can see the preview of it exactly the way it will appear on my site. And because it's in draft mode, it's not published yet. We'll talk more about that in another video. From here, I've got the inline editor where I can change the layout, manage the content, or edit the page itself. Let's go ahead and manage the content. And now you'll notice everything that Drupal has is available to me to simply click and drag. Or I can create a new content block. We'll create a basic block, give it a description. And of course, now I can put anything there in the body, including video, images, etc., whatever's in my media library. Create and place. I'm going to not display the title because that's kind of a long title. And we'll put this in the first above position and click Add. 
And so now I've got this great layout of my landing page, which again is completely drag and droppable. I can move them up and down. I can edit them. And of course, I can go back and completely edit the settings. Click Save. Here's the preview. It's still in draft mode. If I go ahead and publish it, it's been published. I'm logged out. And of course, you can now see my first landing page. So we've talked about creating reusable layouts. We've also talked about allowing editors to select the layout to use. We've created a one-off page with the layout we created earlier. Lastly, before we leave this page, we can also designate a default layout for this particular content type. So for instance, if I wanted recent content to be the default for this content type, I can click Confirm and not allow users to select which display to use, then I've now locked that layout down and they won't be able to change it. But if I want to go ahead and let them change it at will, I'll leave that box checked. That's not a problem either. And of course, I can set it back to a single column. The layouts that we have come from the layout plugin. Let me quickly demonstrate. Once again, we have the entity token and the current user token. Click Next. And this is what I'm talking about here. These layouts come from the plugin, but there are additional layouts that you can get. The Radix layouts have been upgraded for Drupal 8, and you can see them on the screen. There's just a ton of them there. It's not hard to download and install. The installation instructions are right here at drupal.org slash project slash Radix layouts. And so that's layouts in Drupal 8 Lightning from Acquia, allowing site builders and editors complete flexibility in how their content is laid out.